have a very good friend, of, a friend of mine back when I was in seminary. We went to seminary together. We worked together, in fact. His name was Mike, and he shared this story in his church. Pretty well-known story about a young man who was hated, it seemed like, by anybody, rejected, bullied in school, came to church there in Fort Worth, Texas, was not loved there, was not ministered to, was not shared with, a Baptist church, as a matter of fact, you know, not picking on anybody, but an evangelical church, I should say. And he told this story in the church, and of course, this young man, as he told the story, got into the military, learned one skill, and that's how to shoot a rifle, got married, finally found somebody that loved him, but then she left him too because she just couldn't stand him. He comes to America, goes up into a high-rise building in Dallas, Texas in 1963, and sends a shell, a bullet, into the head of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Lee Harvey Oswald, one of the most rejected men of our day. He told that story. Two ladies in the church came up to him afterwards, and in tears they said, we were the church that Lee Harvey Oswald came to when he was a boy. And one of them said, yes, and I can remember being glad when he never came back. What a difference. Our whole, whole world would have been different if somebody would have sat down with him and said, Lee, I want to share with you about the greatest person and the greatest hope. I want to share with you about someone who really, really does love you. The greatest power we have is in the gospel of Jesus Christ. In fact, let me give you a little story. There was a young man that was about to go in, true story, about to go in and preach before a very large crowd at a very large church full of youth pastors and youth people. It was a big youth conference.